What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to reset your bias to default settings on any pc so i've got a pc here that i want to show you a bunch of ways of resetting your bios now you may need to reset your bias due to a bad overclock or configuration setting that is not working well with your computer or for any other reason you can reset your bios the first thing you need to do is head over to the motherboard manufacturers website and over here you can go to the support page this will give you access to the motherboard manual and it's free to download from the manufacturer's website now if you already have the motherboard manual you can open it up and have a look at the actual manual itself but if you don't have it you can head over here and download the manual in your language once you get the manual downloaded you can open this up and it will give you all the information you need about resetting the bios and a load of other information that will be very useful to you. So if you look in the contents page here, it's going to give you a list of stuff that this actual manual has. And you'll want to look for the actual BIOS part or the jumper settings, because there's a bunch of different things you can do. So I can see one here saying jumper. So I'm going to go to this location. And then what we can do is have a look at what jumpers are available. There may be a jumper on here that we can use to clear the CMOS. So you can see one right here. And there is an actual jumper on this motherboard let me zoom right in and you can see here to erase the rtc ram turn off the computer and unplug the power cord use a metal object such as a screwdriver to short the two pins plug the power cord back in and then turn on the computer and then you can hold down the del key which is your delete key while booting and it will take you into the bios and that's how you can then clear your bios and you can then reset your bios like your XMP settings and stuff like that. Let me show you how it works. So on this motherboard, it's down in the bottom right hand corner here. You can see it listed here, CLRTC. That is the actual two pins that we have to short. Now, sometimes there might be a little jumper on here, which you can actually move to a third pin. But in this case, I just push the screwdriver onto the two pins and you can see the light is actually going off on the motherboard. And this will drain all the power and clear the actual CMOS back to its default factory settings. I'll show you again. Just hover over this. There we go. Touch it. And the little side red light goes off on the motherboard. Let me show you one more time. There we go. And that will clear the CMOS. Now, any setting that's on your BIOS, like overclocks or XMP settings or anything like that, these will be all removed and go back to default settings. You will then need to go back in the BIOS and reset these settings now, if you don't have a jumper on the motherboard, you can see a CMOS battery just here, that little silver disc. Sometimes it's hidden behind the graphics card. It's tucked away just at the bottom of the graphics card here, which makes access to it pretty difficult. So you're going to need to remove your graphics card to get clear access to the actual CMOS battery. So I'll go ahead and remove this from the computer so we can get access to the CMOS here. And just there, you can see Tough Gaming X570 Plus. That is the name of the motherboard and it's made by asus you can then go over to the motherboard manufacturer's website and get your manual so you can see the disc here there's a little latch on the side here i'm going to use a little spudger here this is made of plastic and i'm just going to push this little catch on the side and this will release the battery so you want to make sure that the power cable is out of the uh, power supply and then you can basically remove the battery just like this and then hold the power button down on the case for 30 seconds and this will clear any information that has been stored for that BIOS so for instance XMP settings overclock settings and things like that these will all be reset back to the default factory settings so once you've done all this you can put your battery in it'll only go in one way as you can see here let me just take this back out and show you the back of this battery here you can see it will only go in one way so once we get this back into the computer, this can help reset and clear the CMOS. Now, some computers do have a button which you can push to clear the CMOS. And another one may have jumpers with a little jumper pin where you move the jumper pin across. Some you have to use a screwdriver and some you can use the BIOS battery. Just remove it and hold the power button down. And the other way is to go inside the actual BIOS itself. You can see we've had to remove the graphics card here to get access to the battery so an easier way to reset this would be inside the bios and this is the next way i'm going to show you so entering the bios you can do this by looking at your manual and it will tell you exactly what key 
to press the enter the BIOS. In my case, it's the delete key. So I'm going to keep tapping the delete key or the F2 key, and this will get me to the BIOS screen. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to reboot the system and keep tapping that key to get access to the BIOS here. So here we are in the BIOS. I've got a couple of ways I can go about resetting the optimized default settings for this BIOS. So now on this motherboard down the bottom, it says default F5. So if I hit F5 on the keyboard or I click on it with my mouse, I can basically get access to this and it says load optimized defaults. This is going to be the optimized defaults, which is your default settings for your BIOS. This will remove any sort of overclock or XMP settings or any of those settings, any fan curves you may have set up, anything like that. It will completely reset it back to default. The next way to get access to it is up on the exit here. If you go to exit up the top on the right hand side here, you can access the load optimized defaults. Sometimes you can push F10 and it will give you those options depending on what motherboard you're using. You can see here load optimized defaults is an option available here. So I can click on this and it will then give me that same option as you can see. And if I clicked OK here, it reset all of the default settings back. So that's basically how you can put your default settings back inside your BIOS if you're having issues or you've got some sort of configuration issue or you may want to just reset it to try and get display back on your monitor. So I hope this helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to give a special shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Hope you had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year to you all. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.